Hi, it's Jill Osborne from the IC Network, and I'm here in my office with another self-help tip on living with IC and bladder pain syndrome. Ladies, it's time we have the estrogen chat, because I bet you've already figured out that your bladder is very hormone sensitive. You might have a flare the day that you ovulate or a couple of days before your period. This is very predictable and very normal. The question is why? Well, it turns out that estrogen plays a very important role in the health of our skin and our mucous membranes. When your estrogen levels are high, your skin stays thick and moist and resilient. But when your estrogen levels drop down, your skin gets thin and dry and brittle. And obviously in the bladder and in the vagina and even in your mouth, mucus is important. Mucus plays a very important role in protecting your skin. And when you lose mucus, your skin becomes much more tender and easily irritated. Thus, when your estrogen levels are low, you might notice that your bladder becomes more sensitive. So what we always want to do with patients who are struggling with flares is ask ourselves, could estrogen be contributing to some of your bladder symptoms? Now there are some telltale signs. Number one, dryness. Is your vulva dry? Is your vagina dry? And number two, is sex difficult and uncomfortable because of dryness. Um, and number three, one, sometimes we see that the vulva itself can actually shrink a little bit. So if you're noticing any of those signs or symptoms, we want you to go to your doctor and start having a discussion about this. Now another thing to consider is age. You know, there are a lot of women out there in their early 30s who are thinking there's no way that estrogen can be influencing uh, my symptoms. I, there's no way I could be perimenopausal. Well, wrong. Guess what? It can happen. Especially if you've had a hysterectomy a couple years after your hysterectomy, if you've had your ovaries removed, we often see the onset of some pretty significant estrogen depletion issues. You might come from a family where signs of uh, menopause or perimenopause can begin in your early 30s. And sometimes, you know, it just happens and we don't really understand why. But it is what it is. Estrogen is important to your skin health. So if you're having any of those symptoms, we want you to go to your OBGYN, ask for an examination, have them look at your vulva, look at your vagina, and if they see any signs of atrophy or dryness, it might be worth considering some alternatives. For example, typically, patients are prescribed an estrogen cream to use in the vagina and the vulva. And this is really ideal because it delivers the hormone exactly where you need it most. But if you're a, a breast cancer survivor or you have a history of breast cancer in your family, your doctor may be very reluctant to give you um, estrogen cream. Now listen, if you don't have that history, then estrogen cream certainly makes sense. But there's something that you need to be aware of, and that is, hello, we are super sensitive down there. At least I know I am. And when my doctor gave me a prescription of a typical mass market cream called Premarin, it burned horribly when I used it. In fact, it burned so bad I never used it again. But I made a mistake, and the mistake was that I assumed that it was the estrogen that was burning me, and it wasn't. It was the preservatives in the cream that were actually burning me instead. This was brought to my attention in a, in a wonderful book called Screaming to be Heard, Hormonal Connections that Women Suspect and Doctors Ignore. And what she suggests in this book is that you ask, whoops, drop the book. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, what she suggests is that you ask your doctor for a preservative-free compounded estrogen cream instead. And it turns out for IC patients, this is really a perfect solution because it, it, it just feels better. And you know, again, don't walk away from estrogen. You've got to find an option. So listen, if a cream doesn't work for you, that's okay because there are other things that they can prescribe. One is an E-string. It's about this size and it's a little rubber circle coated with time-release estrogen that, that you can insert into your vagina and it delivers nice time-release estrogen. 
or there are even some estrogen pills or tablets that you can insert in your vagina. Again, this is for a conversation uh, to be decided between you and your doctor, but those are certainly some of your options. Now listen, we as women share this wonderful journey. It is a journey of estrogen and it is a journey of maturity from going through the anxious years of puberty to the joy and discovery of intimacy to motherhood and eventually to menopause. It is this journey in estrogen which ties us together. Don't be afraid of it. It's actually rather wonderful as it happens. And yes, aging is difficult at times and it's awkward at times, but it should not be feared. Every day is a new day. There's always a chance for your symptoms to get better and that's what I want to happen to you. And if it turns out that estrogen is contributing to your bladder symptoms, then a visit to your OBGYN is certainly worth it. Well, listen, I hope that that helped. As always, that is my opinion. If you're looking for any more information on IC, please come, please come visit our website at www.ic-network.com.